The oil tanker MT Terra Nova was carrying 1.4 million liters of oil when it capsized in Limay, Bataan, during the height of Typhoon Gamey in late July. Greenpeace Philippines cited a massive oil leak as the tanker's valve leak. Two more ships capsized, further worsening the devastating spill. A fishing ban was introduced along the Bataan coast, affecting the livelihood of thousands of fishers in the area. Pangisda Pilipinas, the largest fishing organization in the Philippines, is demanding accountability for the environmental disaster. When will the government agency responsible for monitoring ships and preventing them from sailing during a typhoon be held accountable? Fishermen are still waiting for the answer now. Where is the compensation for the damage that has been done? Marine Protection Organization Oceana is proposing a class action suit against the oil tanker and the oil company involved. They also urge the government to give sufficient financial assistance to fisher folk. A month after the oil spill, the fishing ban has been lifted in Manila Bay. According to the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, fish from all areas are now deemed safe for consumption. However, environmentalists and marine biologists warn that the effects of the oil spill has a detrimental impact to marine biodiversity and also pose a long-term health risk to the public. Uh, oil has hazardous chemicals that can be you know, accumulated in your body and some of these are cancerous and you may not feel these impacts right now and, and maybe in the long term uh, they can impact us. Last Tuesday, the Philippine Coast Guard was reported to have siphoned 1.3 million liters of oil waste with more than 100,000 liters still needing to be extracted. As typhoons intensify, fears of another catastrophic oil spill loom large among environmentalists and fisherfolk. They are calling for immediate legal reforms, urging the government to act before disaster strikes again. They also demand that private oil corporations step up and take full social responsibility, ensuring that no such environmental tragedy ever happens again. Gretchen Malalad, CGTN, Manila.